हेलो बच्चो सो लेट सी द्वेश्चन फाइव हंड्रेड स्क्वायर लूप ईच ऑफ साइड टेन सेंटीमीटर इज प्लेस नॉर्मल टू आर मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स विच इज इंक्रीजिंग एट अ रेट ऑफ वन टेस्ला पर सेकेंड द मैग्नेट्यूड ऑफ इंड्यूज ई एम एफ इन द वर्ल्ड इज फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज पॉइंट वन सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज पॉइंट फाइव थर्ड ऑप्शन इज वन एंड फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज फाइव सो लेट सी दोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन वॉट ऑफ द गिवन डाटाज वी हैव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट द गिवन डाटाज Okay, so the number of turns is given as 500, right? Okay, we have a square loop whose side is given to as 10 centimeter. Converting it to the meters, so you will get the value of 0.1 meters. Okay, now place normal to a magnetic flux, which is increasing at a, the magnetic flux is in, increasing because of the increase of this. So Tesla for saying it actually dB by dt is increasing. Okay. So dB by dt is given as one tesla per second, right? And we have to calculate the magnitude of induced EMF. Okay. So now again using the same concept from the Faraday's law, from the Faraday's law, we have induced EMF e equals to d phi by dt. Now phi is what? Phi is n b a. Number of turns and area of cross section that will remains the constant. So EMF comes out be n into a dB by dt. Okay. So this is your induced EMF. Just put the values and you will get your final answer. So E is equals to number of turns is given as 500. What about the area? Not given so. And dB by dt is one tesla per second. We have side as 0.1 meter. Also, it is given that this is a square loop. Okay, since this is a square loop, you can use the concept of area as side square. So the area comes out to be zero point one square. So your area goes out to be zero point zero. So the induced EMF comes out to be five hundred into zero point zero one into one. Solving it further, you will get your final answer as the five volts. So the induced EMF will be five volts, which is your option number D. So your option D is the correct option. Hope you got the concept of this question. All the very best.